Hey guys, it's Cool and Nashe. Welcome back to my channel. So, as you guys could tell by the title, this content is going to be a little different than what I usually post on my channel. Um, I'm doing a how to video. So, if you guys tired of being broke and you need some money, stay tuned and I got you on how to get a job. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the video. I'm going to start with tip number one. Tip number one, if you guys don't already know about Snagit Jobs, download Snagit Jobs on you guys' um, device. Whether it's computer, phone, iPad, whatever. Download Snagit Jobs. And because Snagit Jobs is a big, big help. I'm telling you guys, like for real. That's what helped me. Snagit Jobs, first of all, Snagit Jobs has been around for a long, long time. I'm 24 years old and I applied to, um, when I did my first application, I did mine back when I was 15. Yeah, when I was 15. That's when I first got my first job. So that's how, but Snagger Jobs been on, been around way longer before that. So I applied to Snagger Jobs and just, um, do your application like that. And the application process is so quick on Snagger Jobs, like it's very quick. And, um, yes, you will like it. So that's the first tip for you guys. The second tip, so if you guys wonder why I keep on looking down, I have a notepad right here with all the, you know, tips and tricks on, you know, how to get the job. The sec, excuse me. The second trick is, I cannot stress this enough to you guys. Please, please, please be consistent. When you be consistent, be consistent when calling these people. Once you get done doing the application, please call these people. And I mean call them right away. When I mean right away, I'm talking about the next day. If you do it, say you do the application in the morning time, and then you can call, you know, get a, give or take, you know, a couple of hours. And then, you know, go ahead and call them and then check the status of the application. But if you do it like later on in the evening, then or at night time or whatever then call them the next day and say hey my name is such and such i'm calling to check the status of my application or whatever that's how you do that that's how you do that don't wait until don't sit there be jobless broke and wait until they call you thinking they're going to call you no that's not how it's going to work they want you to be consistent they want you to call them and um let them know that you at least you're on initiative and trying to find a job. Let them know that you want the job. Just basically be on their butts. That's what they want you to do. Be on their butts. So, um, yeah, y'all know that's not what I want to say, but I'm trying not to cuss in my videos. But, yeah, just let them know that you want the job and, you know, just be on it with them. Because if you tired of being broke, and you want some money, you're going to call, right? So that means that you have to be consistent with calling. Um, yeah, so nine times out of ten, if you're very consistent, if you're very motivated, showing them that you want the job or whatever, then nine times out of ten, they're going to ask you when can you come in for the interview. So, just tell them, I can come in right now if you want me to. I'm just playing, don't say that. But no, nah, just tell them, um... So when they ask you when you want the interview or whatever, and then just say, um, whenever you're available, the next day, I'll come in tomorrow for the interview. And, you know, if they say, okay, then you go, you know, just go ahead, go to the interview. So when you do go to the interview, guys, during the interview process, um, be on time. When I say be on time, be on time for the interview. Matter of fact, no, be early. So... With that being said, if your interview at ten, if your interview at ten o'clock in the morning, don't come, don't come walking in there at exactly at ten o'clock. That's being on time and that's not appropriate. Be early, which means if your interview is at ten o'clock, come in between nine forty-five, nine fifty, and you know, let them know that my name is such and such, and I'm here to, I'm here for my interview. And um, yeah, so if they see that you're being and they see that you on time. They see that you early. Because it's better to be early than on time. But it's better to be on time than being late. Should I? I'm going to put it like that. You don't have the job yet, baby. So don't be trying to come in. Come strolling in at 10 o'clock. Knowing that you're interviewed at 10 o'clock. 
go ahead and come in like I said 10 to 15 minutes before your interview and then you know that's showing them so that way they're showing them to let them know that okay it seemed like that we have a, a, a good fit for a good candidate for our you know the job or whatever so let them know that you being consistent and that you being motivated and that you being responsible with, as far as coming in on time they gonna see that okay she can come in, she or he can come in for their job interview on time. They can come to work on time. So, yeah. The next tip is, um, uh, when you guys dress it for your job interview, you don't have to be too professional, but be professional enough. So, which means girls, ladies, should I say, when you come in, ladies, for a job interview, don't come in with your boobs all out or don't come in with your, with no high heels no hat stripper heels on or don't come in with no you know of course you guys i hope you guys you ladies know how know not to come in with no booty shorts or anything like that and don't come in with no gym shoes try not to come in with no gym shoes but just be you know presentable for ladies and fellas if you guys have tattoos make sure you, your tattoos is covered up if you can't cover every tattoo up just make sure your main the, um the main ones are covered up that you know um, just make sure that the main ones are covered up, which means if you do have a whole sleeve, whatever, at least put on a, a nice little long sleeve shirt, dressy shirt, and you know, to cover up your tattoos or whatever. And, um, like I said, don't have your boobs all out or anything like that. Just wear some nice, some nice slats and a nice dress shirt. Fellas, you don't have to come in with a, a whole suit on looking like you finna go to church and you don't have to do none of that just come in with like i said some nice slacks a nice dress shirt and just look presentable basically yeah so when you go in you go in smile and shake their hands and make eye contact so right now this is covid season or whatever so um you don't have to just you don't have to go in and shake their hand now it's had a the team they probably not going to shake your hand which means if it's a good or a good reason because of the stuff that's going around for your health and theirs also you don't have to go in and shake their hand just go in smile with make eye contact and you know just you know just go on with it so after that the interview process is going to start so this is where the nervousness start when you guys go when you guys sit down or whatever and do the interview guys don't be nervous do not be nervous like it's easy to say to be done because i'm not gonna lie when i had my first job i was nervous when i had yes when i had my first job or well, my first interview i was nervous because of course that was my first interview so you will be nervous so i'm not gonna sit here and say don't be nervous because i know you will because that's gonna be your first one even if it's not your first one still to this day if i have when i have my interviews i still be nervous i don't know why it's just i don't know but just don't be just try not to be nervous just be relaxed calm and what a lot of gonna ask you what a lot of hiring managers gonna ask you is What's going to um, tell you is basically tell me a little about yourself and you're going to tell them basically if you were in school if you're a teenager because this mainly for the people this um video mainly for the people that's that have their first job that this is their first job or whatever so but if you're a teenager but if it's not your first job you know it's still okay also but if you're a teenager whatever just let them know that you know if you're in school let them know that you're in school tell them your school schedule and you know be upfront with them don't sugarcoat nothing don't lie about anything just be upfront with them letting them know like you know i'm still in school blah 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 and stuff like that and if you're in sports and things like that and they will um work with you especially if you're doing basketball or football or whatever like that you know they will work with you because you know they see that you're still in school so yes guys um i don't know if that's all my questions that's all my tips like i said they will work with you and you know give you a job whatever and then once they leave and then the nine times out of ten, they gonna probably ask you, do you guys have any questions for me? And whatever you guys, whatever question that you guys have for them, 
you can basically tell them. But what a lot of people, they always say, um, what's my starting pay, this, that, and the other. If you guys didn't get the job, don't ask what's my start pay because you still, you didn't get the job. So don't ask what's my start pay if you don't get the job. Now, when they tell you that you have the job, then that's when you're going to go on ask them what's your start pay. And so on, so on. That's if they don't bring up the start pay. They will discuss that when you they will discuss your start, your, um, your pay and your height and dirt and all of that. When you get done with the interview or whatever, um, you shake their hand again, tell them thank you for, you know, the interview and all of that. Some will tell you that you got hired right then and there. Some wait until a couple of days later. Some might tell you, you know, the same day. I know for me, when I got hired at Subway, because Subway is my first best Subway, that was my first job. Um, my old, my manager called me that same day and told me that I had the job. And I know forget because I was actually sleep. I think when he called me or something like that. And then when I woke up, I had checked my voicemail. He had left me a voice message because I said I had a missed call. And I was scared like, dang, I got, I was like, I was scared of stuff like, dang, I got a missed call from, you know, his na name was Miss Perry. I'm like, I got a missed call from him, whatever. And I was all happy or whatever because, you know, I was like, okay. He called me like I was geek. And then, of course, he left it on my voicemail, told me that I had the job, asked me when can I start, and so on and so on. So, like I said, guys, don't be nervous. Don't be timid if they don't tell you the same day that um, you guys didn't get the job. You still have some time. You can give, like I said, a couple of days. They will call you within a couple of days. So, um, yes, I hope these tips was good for you guys. And for the people that this their first job, Good luck on your first job interview. And like I said, be consistent, be consistent, and be consistent with being on top of calling these people because if you wait and if you do a job application and wait, then you're gonna forever be broke and you're gonna forever be unemployed. So yeah, just keep that in mind. So if you want a job, you want that money, be consistent. So I'm going to hit in my video right here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. And I will see you guys in another video.